This is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> I've come to the West Country Wildlife Photography Centre to get up close and personal with a little furry murder machine. The mink is an American mustelid, first found breeding in the UK in 1956. A widespread misconception is that the UK's wild population of American mink originated from mass releases from fur farms by animal rights activists in the 1990s. In fact, wild populations were established decades earlier from multiple escapees and probably deliberate releases all over the country. So I'm risking life in limb now with the <laughs> Hello. With the mink. You know, little little murder machines going through water holes and everything. And butter wouldn't melt in their mouths looking at them like this, but they are highly invasive in the UK. At its peak in the 1950s, there were 400 known fur farms in the UK, and there were suspected to be additional backyard units. By December 1967, wild mink were present in over half the counties in England and Wales, and in much of Lowland Scotland. So I might be anthropomorphising them a little bit, but I can't help but think he's a little bit cute. I know you shouldn't say that about a non-native species, but they've got something about them. Mink are of course a huge problem in our waterways, and they cause a massive decline in the numbers of water voles. Now he's just typing the script, just making sure I'm... no... yes, yeah. The problem is water voles can escape land predators, like foxes, by diving in the water, and escape aquatic predators like pike by going on land or in its burrow. But mink can swim very efficiently, and females can fit down the water vole's burrow so there's no escape. It's not just the water voles that get the brunt of it. They raid kingfisher nests, they'll catch spawning fish, pretty much anything that they can grab, they'll kill and eat. Mink are quite bold so you're more likely to see them in the day than their bigger and shyer cousin, the otter. Otters are much larger than mink, and mink tend to have darker fur and a smaller face. The University of Oxford carried out a study finding that where otters and mink are in the same waterway, otters will kill and deter mink as their competition for food, so the rise in our native otters could help stem the increase in the non-native mink. They might not be as well known for going in the water as otters, but they're just as happy. They've got webbing on their feet and that thick fur keeps them watertight. Camera traps are a great way to monitor them. Of course, if you can put a camera trap out, you get a much better view of what's in the area. Could be a mink, could be an otter, you could get anything on them. Mink rafts are also used to get the footprints, which are another way of monitoring them, as they've got their own distinctive shape, as opposed to other mammals you might get in the area. So the sad truth is we have no idea how many mink are in the UK, and there's no organized strategy to remove them all. At present, the best ways are trapping or shooting the mink. If you see a mink in the wild, please report it to a conservation agency, such as the Canal and River Trust or the Wildlife Trust. For the meantime, however, these tiny carnivores are here to stay. Thanks for watching. Which species do you think I should go after next? Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, cheers.